Okay, this is uh, February the 16th, 2010. It's been about three months since I've done an update on the truck. I, you know, I'd said in the last video that I probably wasn't going to do as many or, or if any. But I got to thinking, you know, if we have problems with uh, something, we're going to show it. Uh, just so if anybody else wants to do this conversion, that kind of gives them a heads up. Uh, also about three months ago is when I had a, a fellow from Texas uh, criticize the way I had uh, jacked the front end of the truck at the time. I was pretty upset. I've since then calmed down, but right now we've got about 1,500 miles on the conversion. Everything has worked great on it. We got our transmission issue fixed. What we had to do was combine the, the sensors out of the burned up 97 transmission, not the sensors, the solenoids, I mean, out of the burned up 97 transmission. And we put it in a 2000 model transmission. We had took the solenoids out of it and we put all that together and it works great now. So we've got a good transmission, so we're hooking up good. Only big problems, we're, little problems we have was, uh, let's see, the speedometer's off more than I thought. Uh, we're just going with bigger, slightly bigger tires than what it had with the Crown Vic set up. But we're about 15 to 20 miles off. Uh, the speedometer's showing slower than what it's really going. So I'm thinking we may have a little more issues with that than just putting bigger tires on it. I don't know because uh, it's supposed to have 225s and I'm running 235s on the back. So um, I don't know what the deal with that is, but that's, that's not uh, too big a deal as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we'll work through that. Uh, we, uh, now the gentleman in Texas that was uh, complaining about my, um, s claiming that my uh, way I jacked the front end up was unsafe, my as he calls it tubing, I call these things channel. Tubing is round. I don't know why he calls it tubing for, but anyway, I call it channel. Maybe he's right. I don't know. Let me show you how they've held up over 1,500 miles. And when I say 1,500 miles, I mean 1,500 miles on northeast Alabama roads. Some of it even off-road. Um, let's see. Right there, if you look in the center of your screen, you can see the, one of the bolts coming out of it. Let me see if I can get a better shot for everybody to see. As you can see, it's not buckling any. Uh, everything is holding up great. It hasn't, either one has budged. However, we have had a problem. And not with that, but a design that I based off this gentleman when he done his. Now, I can't complain or can't say that it's his fault that this happened because, granted, I'm running uh, the truck up higher uh, than he is. But I based my brackets off his brackets. But because I jacked mine up higher, I had to make my brackets longer. Well, the problem, you see the brackets hook up to this right here. Let me go on the other side where the bracket is so we can uh, show you how. Uh, got a quick tour of my shop. Uh, how we done it. Now, he done his pretty much the same way, except, of course, right here. I had to make it longer. Well, because of that, um, it, uh, it bent whenever we applied the brakes. So we went back and we added this uh, plate right here on to reinforce it. Well, it seemed to work fine on this side. Um, if I had it go back, I would have used much thicker. This is like uh, probably either quarter inch or seven gauge, I would imagine. I'm not even sure. It's just some scrap metal we found. Anyway, it's too thin. It bends. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but we put this plate to the back side right there to help sure it up even more. Now, one more word about my uh, shims, or not shims, what am I saying? My spacers I made. Let me get, give everybody a front view of it. Uh, is uh, I never understood why I had a problem with it, because look how thick the factory frame is on this thing. Now, look how thick the... Uh, channel, or as he calls it, tubing, is on this thing. It's, if anything, it's a little thicker than the factory frame is. So I don't know why that would be too thin or be in, inefficient to hold this truck up. But as you can see, 1,500 miles, some of that off-roading, some of it uh, on very rough rural highways has held up just fine and dandy. Now, let me show you what happened to the bracket. We got it over here. We're going to have to rebuild a bracket. Probably what I'm going to do is build it out of 3.8 steel. Let me turn my light off here. There we go. We're going to just build this thing out, rebuild this whole thing, probably use about the same design, but this broke. 
and it just kept on wiggling back and forth every time you applied the brake. And it finally snapped. And I heard a noise, but I uh, really didn't think much about it till I got to notice that my brakes was pulling to the left. Every time I would apply the brakes, it would pull to the left. So I knew something was up, and, and I heard a, a, a snapping noise so whenever it done it too. So I stopped the truck, look up under it. Well, lo and behold, this bracket had broke. As you can see, it looks like it, part of it was starting to break for a while because of the rust just right there. So um, it had, uh, let me get back some so I can focus better. This camera's like me, it's a little, I uh, need some bifocals or whatever. But, um, so it had already started breaking. I had noticed a few weeks ago it had a slight pull to the left and didn't know what it was. But that must have been what this was. It was this thing already starting to bend throwing my caster off and causing the truck uh, to pull to the left whenever I applied the brakes. A lot of force on these brackets I learned when it's uh, when you apply the brakes on it. That's for sure. But no big deal. No harm was done to life, limb, or the truck or anything like that. So we're just simply going to rebuild this bracket. Only this time we're not going to use this, uh, what if it's quarter inch, seven gauge, somebody out there might could correct me on it, I don't know. Uh, we're going to go back with a, I got some 3 8 plates, and we're going to build this out of 3 8 steel. If it breaks that, then phew, I don't know, I don't know what more to do for it. But other than this one issue um, in the transmission, everything is just held up marvelous on this truck. Uh, 1,500 miles, love it. I'm getting about, um, oh, I'm getting about 19 to 20 miles of the gallon right now. Which is great because when I had the 246 on her in, I got about 14 miles of the gallon. And I've probably got three times the power I had. The truck drives like a dream. And I love it because I love this body style. I grew up with this body style. When I was a small child, my granddad had a 68 F100, except it was a short wheel base. My dad and uncle had a few uh, Ford pickups from this era from the late 60s, early 70s. And uh, I just really like this body style. And uh, I wish I could fix it up better than what it looks now. Of course, I'm thinking on the paint job, I'm going to go with a rat rod, either a, uh, a, a, a dark gray or a flat black, something like that. Since the body is so rough and everything, uh, we're going to just try to get this. And I'm not a body guy anyway, and I'm just going to use it for a work truck. If it was a straighter and more rust-free body, then I would probably have a factory-style paint job put on it. But... Uh, since it is what it is, uh, I think I'll just do a rat rod paint job on it and leave it at that. But I've really been pleased with the truck. Everything's holding up great. Uh, the rear end, the 8.8 .8 in the thing has, has really held up great. Uh, I'm going to put some new leaf springs on it. have these rebuilt one. These are the original leaf springs. But actually, they're holding up fine. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd give an update on the old thing. And... Uh, just let everybody know how it's going. Uh, I've been driving it, like I said, a lot. I've already hauled three loads of wood on it. It hauls wood great, by the way. Um, and uh, done a few other things. And I haven't drove it on any long trips yet. I want to get all these bugs uh, straightened out on it before we, we get in any real long trips or anything on it. Uh, but uh, anyway, if I... As soon as uh, we get all this together, I'm going to do another test drive down the road with it, with the transmission working properly, and let everybody see it. I, I know I did promise that on the last video, but I've just been so busy and everything with school and all. It's just been a, a challenge. But anyway, I better shut up here. I'm going to run over my 10 minutes allowance on YouTube. Hope everybody enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, just uh, send them to me. Thank you.